If I were to pick three designer bags in my collection that I can't live without, what will they be? Hello my loves! Welcome back to my channel. This is Zona again. Today's video is a tag from my friend here on YouTube, Reni. Hi Reni! Thank you so much for being friends here on YouTube. I'm very excited to reveal these three bags that are my favorite and I can't live without in my collection. And I will link her channel down below. She has a really interesting channel. She shows a lot of handbags. I hope that you will check it out. If I were to pick three designer bags that are in my collection, what will they be? This was quite a very hard decision to make because all the bags that I purchased are really my favorites. That's why it took me a while to make this video. <laughs> all the bags that I purchase, whether it's expensive or less expensive, I really love them all. I adore them so much. But it came up with my three most uh, love bags. And I'm sure a lot of you guys also love this selection. And if you have any comment regarding my selection, let me know. Please write a comment down below. But yes, uh, this is a very exciting reveal. And for all of you that have been watching me already, you probably have an idea what they are. And of course, it's here in my background. <laughs> it's very obvious. So the first one is my Chanel Mini, the rectangular version. I really like this shape versus the square because I don't struggle putting my cell phone inside. And it's so easy to get things in and out of this. Love that it is black, it's so versatile, it's so classic. And the champagne gold hardware really makes up the whole look of the bag. I like it better in the champagne gold on the small mini. Perfect combination. Yeah, it is so, so adorable. I really like this. And yes, I can't live without this in my collection. I don't think I'll ever let this bag go. So this will be a forever classic for me. And yes, I am looking to buy maybe in the future same style in probably different color. It's just that Chanel prices has gone up so high that if I buy another one, it has to be a reward that I got from doing hard work. <laughs> I feel like I have to really deserve it the next time I buy. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good one. And of course, my ever classic jumbo chanel in caviar the other one is on lambskin and this one is in caviar leather they're quite different in a way because of the material and this one is a yellow gold hardware it is so classic i really love this one it just serves a lot of purpose it could just be worn with any outfits <laughs> It's more like an older lady bag, but uh, a lot of younger people are also wearing this bag nowadays. Also a very pricey one, and so I don't know why they went up so high. I don't think it's the right time for Chanel to be bringing the price up. What do you think, guys? But um, yeah, this is just a very classic, and I think this will stay in my collection. My daughter is not liking this so much yet. Uh, she likes the square mini. But eventually as she gets older, she's probably going to like this. So yeah, it's uh, okay for me, I guess, to have these collections. I like bags better than cars. <laughs> cars are high maintenance and, I so and as soon as you drive them off the lot, it already depreciates at least half of the value. And with this pandemic right now, the bag seems to hold their value. And it is a very low maintenance to own the bags. And as a woman, of course, we value bags more than cars. And I think uh, we are outnumbering the guys because we love to shop. And so we really contribute a lot to the economy. And yeah, um, popular bags hasn't gone down in value uh, during this pandemic, I noticed that they seem to hold their value although of course you have to consider that over time the leather would probably get older and they smell but uh, as long as you keep them pristine and you bring them to a spa you should be okay and it will last for a very very long time 
and of course the number three oh my god tote bag i am not a tote bag person but i feel that having a tote bag a luxury designer tote bag in your collection is a must <laughs> and i have looked at different tote bag in the market i also have the on the go tote from louis vuitton i also love that one but that one is a bit heavier oh my god this is the o tote limited edition cream color and i got this straight from paris it was mailed to me by my sa erica hi again i am really loving this bag i have been wearing them a lot of times since i got it this is one of my most used everyday bag now especially on this pandemic i have seen myself carrying some lunch because i don't eat out so much so this just fits my lunch and some of my essentials for the day and sometimes i would pair it with a small mini bag yeah so i think this is just one of the best tote bag out there and it's um moina has been around for a long time they're just a wonderful brand and they have the same supplier of their leather as with hermes i think i'm starting to really grow my love on this brand because they don't have any games and not a lot of people know about it yet and not so many people owns them i don't even know any of my friends that own moinat so i like sometimes i like to be more exclusive and different and yes that's why i picked this bag i still look forward maybe i would get another tote bag i'm not sure if it's going to be from moina again I'm also looking at FLP, but I have heard some weird review about their tote bag, so I don't know. Also, I'm liking the limited edition from Louis Vuitton, but they're not available anymore. And so, yeah, but this one is just, I think I really, really yeah. love. Describe how much I love this bag. It is just so adorable. It has red lining inside. It looks so luxurious really exclusive really rare looking back and she gave me this free little charm with my initial and my daughter's initial i have been very happy lately and i'm very excited these three are my picks for my favorite bags that i can't live without in my collection and yeah let me know what you think of it <laughs> write a comment down below and if you have a chance please check my two other channels zona luxury homes and zona physical therapy so those are my two careers that's what i do for a living so <laughs> i hope you check them out and support me i will be having more videos to come i have just been really shopping online so much that i have so many reveals <laughs> but eventually i will get situated it's quite overwhelming right now but I will get situated and put out uh, more educational videos this is just the best time to make youtube videos so if you have any talents or a career that you want to share out there i i think uh, youtube is one of the best platform to do it i really like youtube because i get to know the person more and it's so unlimited what you could share and have been watching youtube for so long so many hours spent <laughs> and i guess that's how i end up to be a youtuber now <laughs> with three channels oh my god it's a big work but yes uh, i really hope that you will support me along the way i am really liking sharing my ideas with you guys and yes i hope we're gonna be friends i'm starting to make friends here on youtube and i really appreciate it all right so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you like my selections as well you have a great day and stay calm and healthy out there i love you so much i can't wait to see you on my next one